What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and today we're talking about Redfall. Redfall is an open world vampire shooter game made by Arkane Austin and produced by Bethesda, making it one of the most anticipated exclusive games of 2023. Many people, including myself, were interested in playing this game and we were trying to see whether or not it would actually land upon its release. And well, let's just see how it actually was received. <laughs> Even with all this talk that was dropped, I did want to kind of play it myself to see, hey, did it actually perform as bad as what everyone was saying it did? How did it go? You disappoint me. But the question is, why is this game so disappointing? Is it being over-criticized? Is the game just a giant turd? In this video, I will answer these questions and more, so let's glitch our way into this. Redfall is considered to be one of the biggest fail launches in recent history. And it seems like everyone is begging on Arkane and Microsoft for how bad this was dropped. I feel like the story of the failure of Redfall is not as easy as just calling it mid. It's a collection of problems that seem to fuse together, which is the eventual cause of this hatred and vitriol. Don't get me wrong, I believe that Redfall is should be considered a bad game. But all this hatred is a culmination of two different problems. The game itself failing in what should be the standard that is made for every single type of next-gen exclusive made during this era, as well as the overhyped nature that was attached to this title by both Microsoft and the fanboys going along with it. Each played its own role for the hatred being developed for this game, and we have to now analyze it to say, does it deserve all this vitriol? When analyzing this game, we need to be real. It's it's subpar at best. Redfall feels like it wasn't even near its completion upon its actual release. Basic concepts that you would expect in a game in 2023 were basically just flawed. For example, the AI is basically brain dead. I never once thought that the game that would be similar to Far Cry and Borderlands would have a game's AI be this bad. Now, I'm not saying that the AI of Far Cry had basically geniuses that were planning out strategies to attack you, but I'm talking like the AI here is so dumb that it literally can't even navigate around inanimate objects in order to attack the player. Like these are vampires. They can fly, they can freeze water completely. They can block out the sun, but put a random car or a traffic sign and these vampires' minds will literally implode. Not once did I ever feel like I was actually in danger when playing this game. Because all I needed to do was find a random park bench and all of a sudden just play ring around the rosy with it until the vampire gets tired and just wants to go home. It's not even just vampire. The cultists literally stand there waiting for you to kill them like they just want to die. Or even worse, they run in a complete straight line hoping that you get a collateral. A part of me just wants to sit down with Ark in Houston and just sit there in utter confusion and say, how is it possible that the AI can be this broken and bad? Like, what the hell is going on over there? This breaks the entire functionality of every enemy you face in the entire game. Other than the AI being the embodiment of morons, the world of Redfall just feels like it's the most boring town in all of history. I think in the opening cutscene of this game, it said that this town was originally supposed to be just an ordinary place, and all of a sudden a bunch of craziness happened. And I feel like that's just a half truth. I feel like not only is this town ordinary, but it is the most boring town in the entire United States. And I feel like I was actually happy to find that there were vampires in this place to kind of make it a little more lively. If I was looking for a place to live, Redfall would be probably near the bottom of the list next to Raccoon City and not the Raccoon City from the games from the Resident Evil movie. I hate this place, this zoo this prison like i traveled so far in this town to go find things to do but literally this place just feels so barren for a town that's supposedly under the rule of vampires it would be infested with vamp kids left and right to show how dangerous it was to go outside the firehouse is supposed to be the safeguard but literally i would travel a mile and not see a single vampire in sight at times i'd walk outside in the hopes that maybe there'd be a bunch of vampires that would just jump me no no just be me jaywalking around no cars no vamp kids no cultists nothing then i just run into a vampire they'd get stuck behind a car throw a few punches and then just want to go home and it's gone maybe the entire city is actually safe and we just ran to a bunch of goth kids playing dress up one of the biggest fears that open world games has is literally having nothing to do and unfortunately, Redfall is an example of what not to do with an open world game. One of the worst things that this game has has to be the glitches. There were several times where characters' bodies were stuck into objects, which made for some hilarious moments with the crew. But it also made us cry thinking that this game is an exclusive title that is worth $70 and this is the state that it's in. But man, I cannot get that 
the fucking sensation, that taste of just raw asshole out of my mouth. Enemies would literally disappear like they just learned the instant transmission technique. Or even better, after killing a cultist, another one would just magically appear like they just did the shadow clone jutsu and you just killed their decoy. Even funnier moments are like when you are doing a main mission with the crew and all of a sudden 20 vampires show up out of nowhere and a part of you in the back of your mind thought that, oh no, we're about to get killed. And all of a sudden they all just sit there doing nothing. Dude, these vampires are like not doing like, Look at these vampires right here. They're not doing anything. I'm oh, freezing like, all of them right now. Dude, guys, come over here. Dude, they're not even on my screen. You guys are shooting at nothing. Wow. Like they're scared of us. This is just so gross. I, I honestly feel dirty when I see this stuff happen. There are times we we're fighting against major enemies or bosses and out of nowhere, they would just become invisible to all of our squad mates, making them to be ultra powerful because we can't even shoot them anymore. This game is just plagued by problems and it just feels as if it's not done to a level where it could just be enjoyable. And honestly, it's hard to tell whether or not that waiting or delaying the game even further would actually even help the title upon its release. But if it did mean that these bugs would not be here if we were to delay the game even further, then honestly, I feel like it might've been worth it. I think the most damning problem with Redfall is the overhype that went along with the game's release. Back when Redfall was first announced in 2021 at the E3 conference, I remember Phil Spencer had ended the entire show with the announcement of Redfall. Now, Arkin Houston is a very respectable developer and they've done some killer games that were beloved by multiple different platforms and consoles. But right from the beginning, before we're even seeing any gameplay, any sort of character image or map put into code, people were capping for the game right from the very start. They're painting this to be the next poster child next to Starfield that would usher in the next gen era for the Series X. No! And right now, it looks like the bum-ass sibling that can't even tie its own shoes right. Now, I don't know if this was the sole goal of the executives over at Microsoft, but they had every fanboy become the instant bootlickers for this game. And lick the boots, they did. Every week, I see constant fanboy praise and defenses that would go on social media, whether it was small time or big time content creators that would find ways to elevate this game to be bigger than what it actually was. This was only emphasized due to the console war of plastic boxes that made each side draw their battle plan. So when games like Forspoken crap themselves, it only made all the Xbox fanboys pour the sugar all over this IP, saying that this was going to be the ultimate spit in the face to all the opposing sides games. Are you sure about that? But in reality, this game became the mirror image of Forspoken in the end. Me personally, I never was a big fan of vampire games, so I honestly was a little nervous about the release of Redfall. And honestly, it wasn't enticing enough for me to really be clamoring to get my hands on the controller to play Redfall, but I wanted to give it a chance to see whether or not it would kind of surprise me if it was good. But you have to look at this from an outside perspective. Seeing the game being praised as a game of the year candidate before we actually saw anything from the title, then all of a sudden it being dropped for $70 and the end result being what it was, you can understand the vitriol and hatred and why it's in its current state right now. But I want you to think about this concept. If this game wasn't as hyped as it was, do you think it would get the same hatred as it does right now? Let's look at the example of Hi-Fi Rush. Both released under the Bethesda umbrella and both came on the first half of year of 2023. What happens if the roles were reversed? If Redfall of Shadow dropped in January for $40 in its current state now, with little to no knowledge about it before its release, do you think the hatred would be the same level? Most likely people wouldn't even bat an eye. They'd play it on Game Pass. They probably would forget about it very soon after. Sure, the glitches would have been annoying, but it would have made sense for it being the $40 price tag and it being Shadow Drop. Hi-Fi Rush, on the other hand, would have been hyped throughout this entire process. It would have hit all the rating standards in the 90s like it already is. It would have been a shoe in for the Game of the Year candidate. It's all about perspective. Redfall had the expectation of being more because it was put on such a high pedestal. And because of that, it only fell even harder. Now, clearly there are a lot of problems with Redfall, but to be honest, there are a lot of people out there claiming that this is the worst game of all time. I played a lot of horrible games in my life, but I would never put this on the list of the worst ever. Some of the issues with how people look at Redfall is that it's over criticized for things that really aren't that big of a deal or any aspect that is considered to be decent is just overshadowed by the fanboy hatred. Firstly, let's talk about the 30 FPS problem and how basically is the most overhyped or overrated problems 
that this game has. And honestly, people just won't stop talking about it. In my opinion, yes, games on the Series X and PS5 should be hitting 60 FPS because of the fact that they are lower end PCs in its hardware and creation. And I get it's a lot easier for first person shooter games to get to that 60 FPS rate, mainly because there's a lot less things going on. If games like Borderlands and Far Cry can get to 60 FPS by just getting a pack to do so, then Redfall should be doing it too. But besides that, I never once in my entire playthrough of Redfall just sat there and said, you know what? The frame rate of this game is really stopping me from enjoying it. If I ever said that openly, then you have the right to tattoo I Snort Cheeto Dust on my forehead. There are games that had similar frame rates that won game of the year, so you don't really need 30 FPS to make a game enjoyable. It honestly just feels like it's people complaining just to complain. Judge the game on what you do in it, not just the frame rate. One of the things I felt Redfall had done that was completely average was the gunplay. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but honestly, with all the different types of weapons that you can get, and on top of that, once you get used to the gunplay, then it's honestly an average experience. I played games where bullets didn't even register when you shoot an opponent, so having gun play like this is really being subpar doesn't really ruin the experience. Moving around and navigating, combating against different opponents doesn't match the level of COD, Halo, Apex, and Titanfall, but if you're going to compare it to the top level FPS games, then yeah, you're going to get disappointed. The gunplay is average, but that's not really the problem of the game. What's unfortunate about Redfall is that one of the aspects I thought that they actually did decent at was the size of the map that they, which they created. It gives it a lot of space to work with, but the problem is, is that they basically have had made this map completely barren when you go and explore. I'm not saying this map is amazing in its design, but they honestly have a lot of room to work with and it just felt like they did nothing here. It just feels like Arcane missed the mark on making something interesting and fun to do within Redfall. When you look at Redfall, what's the first thing you think of? That is one big pile of shit. If you think it's the worst game of all time, then I think you're overacting a little. This game is bad, don't get me wrong. And honestly, I would never play it again and I think I'd be cool with it. It's one of those games that you see all the build up hype behind it for all this time and all of a sudden you think to yourself, I could totally see this thing flopping. And it honestly just did. To me, this game has some features that are redeemable. Meaning if you fix the AI problem, you add some events to do in the map, and you get this game to 60 FPS on all consoles and ports, then there should be less crying going on. I've seen games like Battlefield that were broken at its core with the way you shoot and combat at your opponents, and it just ruins the entire experience, make a comeback. I've seen Cyberpunk literally have the worst glitched out moments of all time, and somehow made a comeback. And I don't think Redfall meets the same level as some of these other games that have failed because they have the ability to fix some of these problems. It's bad, it's not broken. It will never sit at the cool kids table of exclusive titles and honestly will probably be sitting in the bathroom eating with the other failed titles at launch. It was doomed from the start due to the overhyped nature that everyone was building around this thing. And if I was rating this game objectively, I'd probably give it a six. It's a crappy game without the 30 FPS, but the overhyped nature made people over all more critical. This game does not meet the standards of a next-gen game or an exclusive. This is Arkane Houston's Forspoken or Fallout 76. Very similar in their journey to this point, each one overhyped before it was released. All had major rendering issues, barren open world, and broken AI. When I look at Redfall, I just think this is just disappointing. Thank you everyone for watching. What do you think about Redfall? Is it a disappointment? Is it the worst game of all time? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't done so yet, Drop a thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. You can find the link to our Twitch channel and our socials all located in the description below. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.